Hi, it's Joan. This week we're still looking at advanced bidding and in the major suit raises section, it's marvellous to be able to show a strong raise of partners major as responder using the Jacoby two no trump convention. Now, when you've got more than 12 points and four or longer card support for partners major opening, jump to two no trumps. It doesn't mean you want to play in no trumps. It's a special convention which says I have a good hand with a fit for you partner and I want to know more because we're playing at least game and maybe slam. So what it asks for from opener is to know whether they have a shortage or not. And a shortage is a singleton or void. So if you hear partner open one heart or one spade, bid two no trumps, the Jacoby convention, with a good hand and a support. And if partner bids a new suit at the three level, that will be shortage. Now it's your job to evaluate how the singleton or void information matches your hand. And if it's good for your hand, in other words, if you don't have any wasted values and it means your high cards are working in other suits, which will match partner's hand, now you might Q-bid or you might use the Blackwood convention and see whether you can bid slam. Knowing how hands fit allows you to bid fantastic slams with nothing like 33 points required. You can often bid them and make them with 26 or 27 points, but you need to find out how the hands fit, not only in the trump suit, but in the side suits. So try the hand I've given you, and I'm doing a next Zoom course in February and I'm devoting it to major suit raises because it's such an important part of bidding and you really need to have them straight and organised with your partner. I'm also doing a beginner's course. So have you got any friends who are dying to learn bridge? Why don't they learn online? It's a perfect way before clubs properly open up. And it's just four lessons and they'll be fun and four practice sessions on Real Bridge where I'll take them and help them to play their own hands. And the other, other set I'm doing is on the power of preemptive, weak, devastatingly dangerous hands. What you can do with weak hands and long suits to annoy the opponents. Because COVID is still raging, although it's waning and we're hoping to get back to normal very soon, I've added an extra BBO game to the Tuesday and Saturday games, and that's Thursday. So if you'd like to come and play, now we've got games on BBO Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 1pm. And there's the Real Bridge practice session on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock Sydney time. Have a great week, everyone. 13 high card points, a five card heart suit, an extra point for the fifth heart. So we would open one heart. Partner has made a Jacoby two no trump raise. This shows a good fit for hearts, at least four hearts, and the strongest hand they could have, which is more than 12 points. This bid, two no trumps, calls for us to show a shortage if we have one. Shortage being a singleton or void, and we indeed do have a singleton diamond. So bidding three diamonds here after Jacoby is not showing a second suit. It's showing shortage, because shortage is one of the best ways to get to slam if you can work out that the hands fit. Partner must feel that the information we gave them about the shortage was valuable because they've jumped to four no trumps. Today we're using key card Blackwood. So we've got three key cards, which are three aces. So our answer would be five diamonds if we're playing zero or three being five diamonds. And so that's what we're trying today. It's called 1430. 
and partner says five hearts because they don't know whether we've got no aces or three. They think we've got three, but it's our job now to confirm that we had three key cards by going to six. Twelve tricks we need to make. We've got no heart losers, so we've got five heart winners, three spade winners, the top three spades, and four lovely club winners. And in fact, all of our values were concentrated in our longer suits, which is really good because we have no values opposite the shortage. And that works perfectly because we've only got one losing diamond. We can't get rid of that losing diamond because we've got four clubs in each hand. And although we've got three spades in one hand and two in the other, we can't reduce the diamonds in the north hand. So we'll just lose one trick in diamonds. So win the king, draw trumps. And they fell 2-2. Two, two. So we've got all the tricks except one diamond at the end. So we might as well play all the rest of our winners. Cash the Ace of Spades. And we could play all our hearts now. But we're not expecting the opponents will throw away their ace or king or queen of diamonds. There's the queen. But there's the king. But someone is holding the ace. And there it is. We made 12 tricks. Slams will make beautifully when you can discover that you have shortage, e.g. that singleton diamond, opposite no values because suddenly we know we've only got one diamond loser because of the singleton. If North were evaluating their own hand without help from us, they could think they had three diamond losers because they've got three small diamonds. So the Jacobi convention works very well when you are showing shortages after the two no trumps.